Let's talk about how I did this five minute face. I'm gonna show it to you and fast forward and then we're gonna break it down for you because I want you to know how to do your own makeup. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the look that you just saw in that really super fast video. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start out with a foundation. The reason I'm doing this video, this is the 3D uh, matte foundation that we have. It's in bronze W120. If anybody wants to replicate this look and you think we have the same uh, coloring. And so the reason I'm doing this today, the five minute face, is because so many people tell me, and this is a sponge we have. So obviously you guys have probably seen these before. They're just the sponge applique and I just put the foundation on in a downward motion. The reason I'm doing this video is because I'm so tired of hearing people say, I don't have time in the morning to do my makeup. People are still saying that even though a lot of people are working from home. Like legit, you can't get up five minutes ahead of what you normally do just to, when you have those meetings with your boss, put on a face, come on you have five minutes. Just instead of waking up at 6.59 for a seven shift, do 6.48. So I did this in the wrong order that I usually do. I put the foundation on first. Anyways, it's fine. So I am going to be using a um, concealer. This is Light, ba Light Bronze. Why am I having so much trouble with the name today? Light Bronze, and it's a concealer. Usually I put this on before I would put on the foundation, but I was trying to talk and do at the same time. It usually works for me, but maybe not today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do two applications of that, and then normally I would put the foundation over it, but you get the picture. This is to take out the dark circles under your eyes. So in keeping with the five minutes, I'm gonna move it along. Uh, what, what I'm going to usually do next is I usually take a little bit, as you saw in the video of the concealer, put it on my eyes. I know a lot of people use primers on their eyelids and things. I use the concealer because it's the same color as my skin. And then it allows me, I still have mascara left. It allows me to put the eyeshadow on and the eyeshadow sticks. So we're going to get into... Uh, this is the angled brush that I always tell you guys about. This is an illuminating bronzer. I'm going to put the illuminating bronzer on in a downward motion. I tell you guys it's because you don't want the fallout. You want to go with the grain of the hairs on your face. So we want to always do it in a downward motion, which is the opposite of what everybody tells you. But I've been doing this for quite a while, so I promise you it's downward. <laughs> Now we're gonna move along to our eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I'm gonna use is Shiny Penny. It's a beautiful goldy bronze color. If you have brown skin, it looks extra pretty. But like I tell you in all my videos, you can message me if you have specific color requests that you wanna see, if you have specific skin type that you would like me to cater to, just comment, comment below. So this is an all over brush from our brush line. You can see the nice gold color on my eyelids. I feel like I need to keep it moving because I said five minute face, which is accurate. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Evening Navy for the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do the outside corner. This is, some people would call this an evening look because it's, it's a bit dramatic with the dark edges. I would wear this out during the day because I love dramatic. So whatever look you want to say this is for evening, daytime, I'm just showing you how quick and easy it is to do. And you can use any colors. It's the same process. You want to just play around with the eyeshadow and make sure that you have a little bit of foundation on to make your face. This is, and you, if, when you're starting out, if you, don't want to use foundation and stuff and you just want to put on lip gloss and a mascara that's like the brushing your teeth of doing your face if you just want to put on mascara and a lip gloss that is perfectly fine and that's better than having nothing on at all and just looking like you just woke up out of bed so see and I can go 
heavier on this eye if I'm going out at nighttime and I want it to be more dramatic all you have to do is add more dark shadow to the corner and then you're gonna see it be more dramatic on this side I'm just gonna stop there because we're doing five minute face and we're going out for the day so we don't want it to be too crazy so this is the lash intensity mascara I always double even triple up on my mascara types that I use I like some for volume I like some for lash length I always do more than one mascara when I'm doing an eye. So we're gonna leave that for now and then I move over to my eyebrows. Now for my eyebrows, I use this brownish color. It's, I believe it's called chocolate. I'll have to double check and I'll put all the names in the description below. Obviously everything I'm using is Mary Kay. So sometimes I fudge up the names and I just have to look and make sure for you guys so i'm just using a discontinue brush so i won't show you which one it is but i'm just gonna put some eyeshadow into my eyebrows just to even them out obviously you guys saw before they've grown a lot they've gotten better they're still a little bit sparse for what i like so i just add a little eyeshadow to the eyebrows and voila there you go so we're gonna go back to the eyelashes now so we're gonna I'm gonna put another coat of mascara on just to add some length and then I'm gonna take this is the excuse me ultimate mascara this is for length so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to add a coat of this on for length and what you saw in the video when I was taking my brush is sometimes I get a little bit on my lids. I just go over it with more eyeshadow and it scrubs it out. So I'm just going to take more of this and do another coat. Sometimes I do my bottom lashes. Sometimes I don't. Today I don't feel like doing it. I'm going to take Golden. That's our lip gloss and put it all over. You don't have to be exact with Golden. It's a shining and then to finish off this is our finishing spray this is to kind of protect we do it in protect this is to make sure your makeup lasts all day it's like laminating a piece of paper you want that plastic coat over your paper to protect it from getting destroyed this would be the similar idea this is to protect your face keep your makeup so that it's on point. My girlfriend actually used the finishing spray at her wedding and her makeup stayed perfect the whole day. No smearing, no swiping off the side of her face. So I use this as part of my daily routine and we wanna do it in an X or a T, whatever you prefer. And then it's kind of just gonna seal in the makeup. And this is my five minute look, y'all. If you guys want to see more of these kind of videos, I love putting makeup on. I can I can dress up the makeup for any type of event. I can show you how to use makeup to make a particular look that you're looking to go for. Whatever. Use the comments section to your at your disposal and let me know what you want to see. Um, also, I want you to like, notify, share, subscribe, tell your friends because we're blowing up the channel tea timers. I love you all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a terrific Sunday. Bye.